Hello, and welcome to Forgotten Tomb, a Thief 2 fan mission by Kurham. It uh, doesn't have a briefing, so let's read out the uh, briefing text. Times are hard now for people of my profession. The City Watch, along with the new Sheriff, are more powerful and effective than ever. The Keepers keep quiet, the Mechanists are long gone, as are the Hammerites. To pay the rent, I must seek opportunities at the outskirts of the city. As it happens, Basso came into possession of an old Hammerite map. The old paper reveals the location of a long-forgotten tomb far away in the dark forest. It seems this tomb serves as the final resting place for fallen guards from various posts scattered among the forest. There may also be the remains of a number of priests, and it could even contain a chamber for a high priest who died in unexplained circumstances in this region. Here is an opportunity to find a lot of gold and goods in the tomb. I have to take a chance. Life in the city is hard these days. I only hope that the tomb has not collapsed and that I can find a way in. A dangerous and long journey awaits. I have to be well prepared. Damn, I was ambushed by barracks in the forest. I've lost some of my equipment. Luckily, the holy water vial is safe. They're almost impossible to find in these unholy times. I have a feeling that without it, I will never enter the tomb or get out alive. Hmm. Finally, I'm near the spot marked by the map. Barracks are still on my track, but I'll be fine. Time to get down to the real work. Let us enter the Forgotten Tomb. The long, hard journey is behind you. You've reached the place indicated by Basso's map. Find a way to enter the tomb. You're taking a big risk, so make it worth your trip. Steal most of the available treasure in this forgotten place. When you're done, go back to the forest where you came. No visible difficulty to the objective, so I will stick on hard. I'm probably not expecting many human enemies. Oh, there's one, but he's already dead. Ha ha! Oh, it's a beautiful night. Uh, our objective is still steal most of the available treasure, so I have no idea how much the most means. Some number. Um, I thought we had a map. Oh, we've got flint and steel. Crowbar? Are we Gordon Freeman? We walk around and, and frog the crowbar on things. A rope? Okay, holy water. No compass? That's not good. No lockpicks? Which is fine. No compass is not good. Do we have a sword? No blackjack, so I guess we're not going to be encountering many humans. No broadheads. Mere three water arrows, which is not much when you talk about holy water. And no other arrows whatsoever. Times are indeed hard. Poor fellow here died with his shovel, a hammer, oh, he's a oh, hammerite. And his golden hammer didn't help him. What are you doing with the shovel? What's that? Flask. And an old bench. Oh, hello. Oh. I can light fires. Why do I want to light fires? I don't know, but I can. Cool. You know? Um, for being a sneaky thief... I was going to check the pond for water, but it's got bugs flying around it, and they might be stingy bugs. For being a sneaky thief, lighting a fire doesn't seem uh, important. For being an adventurer, it seems brilliant. What is this? An old hammerite tomb. An old grave. Oh, hello. There's a rock there. Can I, maybe I can move it with the crowbar. Did it move? I guess it did. I guess it broke it. What have we got? A hammer. That's sitting on the ground that I can't do anything with. Okay, I can't pick it up. And a smaller rock, which is inert. So this hammer is interesting. Um, can't set it on fire. <laughs> I wonder if I can set the zombies on fire. Oh, hello, there's a... Beams of light coming down from the moon. Well, we have a way underground here. It's into this forgotten tomb. 
What is this? A mystical passage. Is that just going to block my way or is it going to hurt? It's just going to block my way. Crowbar it. Come on. Be like Gordon. Just crowbar everything. Well, we did have that message about needing uh, holy water. I guess we're going to need to dispel this barrier. Oh, wait. I can't use that with water arrows. Uh, what? Oh, hang on. What am I standing over here? Oh. A hammer shaped uh, plug. We're going to need a hammer. What's. Oh, I can light the torch. Nice. So, throbbing it to light it makes no sense. Using a flint and steel to light it. Excellent. So, that hammer we found out there. Uh, perhaps. This one? No. Perhaps this hammer. I can't pick it up though. Can I bless it with the holy water? I can. And now I picked it up. It's a blessed stone hammer. Alright. It's as simple as that to bless an object, is it? Oh. Uh, I think we're trapped. I don't think we're going to get out that way. Let's hope there is a second exit to this tomb, because if not, it's going to be a very long trip. Find a way to enter the tomb. All right. Go back to the forest where you came. Well, that's going to be pretty hard. Pretty hard. Hmm. Hmm? I can't like that one. Why not? Why did you just say hmm? Alright, well, never mind. I like that one. What's up with this one? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be lighting too many torches with this. Enemies around. Oh, hello, what? Yeah, we're not going back out the way we came. Strange, a boulder has blocked the exit. When you finish your business here, find another way out. Feels like that should have uh, appeared as soon as the boulder fell when I heard the sound. But, um, it didn't, for whatever reason. It is very dark. And make try and make sure there's a full on torch there. I don't have many water arrows, right? And I can't just frog these things. You think if I can put them, light them, that I'd be able to douse them pretty easily? You just need to put something over the top. But um, well, let's steal most of the available loot, shall we? I can't light the candles, even though there's still plenty of uh, wax left in them. A dried up fountain. Not gonna get it, give me any holy water. Well, and a portcullis. I guess it's the end of our adventure because I can't go any further forward. Unless there's a switch. This one doesn't have a nice little plaque with a picture of a hammer. Oh, we've got statues. There's pictures of a hammer here, but... Uh, that's just iconography, right? There's a torch that fell from the wall. We can't even see where, where it was attached. How do we open this? It means I can't, I can't even throb it, so... Maybe it's going to be a much shorter trip than I expected, but a very long wait. Is there something around those tombs that I missed? Let's check down the sides and down the back. Hello. 
Not a small loot to fall down the back, so always check behind the sofa cushions, Garrett. Always check behind uh, the tomb's sofa cushions. Never know what you might find. But you know what I'm realizing? Maybe, maybe I need to use my holy water on something here. Oh, there's some loot there. <laughs> I was trying to use the holy water on the symbol, but uh, ended up dropping some loot. Nope. And trying to pour some in these fountains doesn't work either. Oh, hello. We have another hammer, pl two hammer plaques there. They don't light up. And I don't have any more hammers. I mean, I've got gold, but I'm not giving up my gold. Are you mad? Oh. It's a pressure plate. This one is not a pressure plate. Is there anything I can drop? Not a torch. I haven't found any items I can pick up and drop, right? Unless I can leave my crowbar behind. Nope. Um... There was that small boulder, but I couldn't pick it up. And besides, that's all the way back at the start, and we're not getting out there. Why is this... Can I break this one off and pick it up? No, why can't I like this one? I don't understand. Strike the flint. Nothing happens. It's out there. Plant or spiderweb? Plant. Roots growing through the ceiling. Hmm. I need something movable, but I have not found anything movable. Unless it's just closes slowly enough, maybe I can just make a run for it. Let's try it. Maybe... Perhaps worth, perhaps worth a second try to crouch. Yeah. Third time's the charm, right? It feels like I could just make it. It feels... This feels very foolish, but I'm not getting back out that way anyway, so... What's the problem with locking myself deeper in this tomb, huh? Nope, 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 nope. The timing is just too tight. I don't have a speed potion. Oh, hang on. Can I crowbar this thing? No, because it doesn't even light up. Can I tie a rope to hold it down? No, I need something to put on there, and there's nothing that I can... Nothing that I can pick up. Oh, there's actually four hammers here. But only one of them is the pressure plate. Um. Um. This would be. There was a skeleton outside, but again, a it's outside. B. Uh, I couldn't pick up his skull or anything anyway. It's a blessed hammer, but I had to leave that behind, didn't I? Oh wait, maybe I can. Maybe I can pick up the blessed hammer again? No, I can't pick it up again. Can't even interact with it anymore. I can open the grate. But I can't get through. It's just too tight. How do I resolve this dilemma? There's nothing to pick up and put there. Knock over this and knock it onto the grate, right? Well, let's not break my sword doing that. Um, well, this is an excellent start. Garrett, you're an excellent tomb robber. You got yourself trapped in a tiny little area and you will die here. 
cold, hungry, starving. You won't you won't die first, you'll drink the holy water. And rope and crowbar everything. But um There's not much place to search, and I feel like I've searched everything. And there's nothing to move, nothing to pick up. What am I missing? This is not uh, going well. Can I just crowbar a bit of you off and get a piece of boulder? Just strain and you know, just break my uh, arms. What can I do with you? Why? Why? Can I crowbar you off the wall now? Can I attach the rope to you? No. Can I? Pour holy water on you. <laughs> nope, and I can't light you either. I don't understand what's up with this torch, but uh, it doesn't seem to be the answer. Oh, hello. I didn't notice you before. Right, let's try about you out of the wall. There we are. Uh, a wall almost invisible. I guess it was in the light, but. Uh, Below my usual line of sight. This only happened as I happened to be looking down as I came by because I saw this pebble. All right, there's my answer. That took far too long. You'd think I could, cr you know, pry some. Crowbar would be good to pry any number of bricks out of these walls. Just bash them all through. But uh, that's not the way it works, I suppose. Brick and build a statue. Now I can. Light another lamp. So far, I don't see a reason not to. Still barely see. Main hall entrance craftsman chamber. I'm surprised you didn't even read that in this light. Well, uh, the main hall entrance looks pretty collapsed. I guess these craftsmen are. Uh, not coming out of there anytime soon. Broken bit of tomb lid. Let's, oh, hey, let's light this so we can see better, shall we? I guess as long as there's no enemies around, there should be no harm in lighting all sorts as we find so we can uh, see our way around, right? Right. Well, more collapsed ceilings. Well, that one's not working. These torches are basically invisible against the wall until they highlight, so I'm just kind of waving my camera around till I, till I can see them. And this alcove has a torch. And a coffin. Right. All right, look how much che more cheery this place is now. Oh, and there's a big hole in the floor, which I could easily have fallen down accidentally if I hadn't been a little more careful to to light the place up. All right, let's start here. I have some gold down the side. There's a skeleton inside as well, but uh, what's he got? A oh, new objective. Strange, no. You lost your lockpicks in the forest. Find some replacements to open the Burrick Timmer's chest. See, Burrick Timmer. The jewels in his eye sockets. Only one now. Maybe you can only afford one. Hello. Golden hammer. Find some lockpicks. Huh? Can't use any small bones for, you know. It's not unprecedented. Book. Here lies Brother Mordred, who gave his life in defense of the Great Temple in the Day of Despair. Piece of wood. Scroll case. Okay, these are interesting objects. This is definitely a robbing tombs, puzzles kind of mission. And some more loot here. There's loot everywhere. Alright, I've got to steal most of it without knowing how much most it is. And I have no idea how big this... Uh, Mission actually is either, so I guess we're gonna find that out as we go. Right, next one. Pagan mask and a hammer. What? What was your deal? 
Here lies Brother Beard, hero of Dark Forest, who slew dozens of tree beasts. Dark Forest. Uh, Day of Despair maybe is another mission. I'm not sure. Dark Forest, I believe, is. And it's not the same as Into the Dark Forest, which I just played. It just has a very similar name. What have you got? A goblet. Plate. And your warhammer, but I don't need a warhammer. I can't read this plaque, it's covered in debris. Oh, the hammer fell down. Smashed it, so I'm not going to get this one open. Any loot behind this one there? No. Find some lockpicks. Alright. I mean, it's a useful... Oh, hello. There's a golden hammer there. Here lies Brother Thorin, hero of many victorious expeditions against hordes of zombies. Oh, I have, I have been missed this too. I, didn't, I just went straight across the hall instead of down this way. Hero of many expeditions against zombies. How does he have any uh, zombie killing equipment for me? Uh, it's all full of water. Interesting. Maybe he got. Maybe he was buried in holy water. Who knows? Nice, uh, nice pattern on the water, by the way. Fancy scrolling texture, but uh, it looks pretty nice. Okay. I'm Careful, Garrett. Church. Okay, but I can't get into the church. Unless there's another hidden pressure plate. Watch out for the hole in the floor, Garrett, because it's the second time you've almost fallen down it. What's that that fell on? Is that just a bit of the statue or what? Or something I can pick up? Maybe just a bit, a bit of the statue. Hammer, Warriors, Heroes, Chambers, level minus one. Or level one, I'm not sure which it's meant to be. Wait, more loot in here? Oh, because the frobbing's a little weird because it keeps highlighting the lid instead of stuff that's inside. No, I don't want to open. Which uh, makes picking stuff up inside or even noticing that's there sometimes difficult, so I should probably double check them all. I do have to steal most of it. Here lies Brother Cahirdin, tamer of the barracks, his horn lured to their death by his hand and many other beasts. I guess his horn is in there and that's going to tame the barracks. Careful, Garrett. High Priest Sibian Script, level 1. Let's double check these. Oh, well, not that one, right? In case there's more loot within them that it is not highlighting properly because it's highlighting the lid instead. Feels like this. Is that a hammer? What is that there? Oh, it's the floating rib cage. It's just uh, it's spinning around, and that's not gold. Well, I don't know where any gold in here. Don't know where I'm going to find lockpicks, but I guess I have one way forward, so I will take my one way forward. Is there? Oh, hello. Can I crowbar this? Open or shut? Oh, no, I can. Can I attach a rope to it? No. Piece of wood. Ah, oh, I can put, I'll put a piece of wood on there and then attach the rope to the piece of wood. All right. Yeah, okay. So, I was wondering how I was going to get down and up safely. And there's my answer. Uh, it does feel like a mission where some hard saves could be useful, though, in case I mess up badly. Like, uh, like that. In case a physics glitch kills me instantaneously. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, accidentally knocking bits of rubble all the way down. Oh, it's echoing. Small stones and pebbles. All right. There's a lit candle. There's a lot. Wait. Did that candle just light up as I appeared? Suddenly the room's a lot brighter than it was when I first looked in. Oh, more candles lit up. This is disconcerting. These things should not do that on their own. Normally. But I don't 
don't see any enemies. In fact, I don't see anything but the candles. And dust. And a few cobwebs. There's a lantern, but I can't pick it up. So... I do have three water arrows. I could douse all three candles. Well, I mean, you should just be able to pinch them, right? And what do we got here? Some more just bits of rubble. Hmm. Definitely seems like this is going to be more of a puzzly mission than a uh, typical sneaking and fighting one that the undead deal with, which is fine. Came here to rob some tombs and lots of puzzle tombs. Seems like a good thing. So what I got here is the rope back up. Right, there's nothing else, just a, lots of rubble blocking the way. Well, what happens if I waste my water arrows? Did I say waste? I mean, one of these actually went out. This can't be right because I could easily have used water arrows. Also, these don't go out reliably anymore. I mean, that one went out. These two just don't seem to at all. What's up with that? Doesn't make any sense. Well, I can't be the right answer. Let's try chopping them down, huh? We can't. They're, they're, non, they're not even solid. Well, the coincidence of three candles and three water arrows appears to be a coincidence because two of them simply don't react to water at all. Hmm. So what now? I'm supposed to be finding lockpicks. Maybe there's, you know, by pure chance, there's just a pair of lockpicks sitting on the ground in this room that I've missed. Not that lockpicks alone will help me. I'm not going to get me into the chest for the burry corn, but uh, wouldn't get me anything else. So there doesn't seem to be anything at ground level. So once again, I am uh, kind of stumped. Like last time I had an idea of what to do, you know, find something heavy and put it on the pressure plate, but the trouble was finding something heavy. This time, the only idea I had was dousing the candles and it doesn't work. Maybe it works if it falls from above. Right? No. Maybe it works if you backsplash. But not if you hit the candle directly. Nope. These ones don't backsplash either. Maybe... Maybe I have to douse the candles with holy water? They can't... They don't highlight, I can't use them. Uh... Conundrum with no clues. There's a lantern here, which would be nice. Uh, what's the scroll case? Oh, the scroll case had a scroll in it. All right, let's read this. Maybe it's maybe it helps us find, figure something out. My one and only true love. I had to visit one last time, your final resting place. I know it was a forbidden love. I, the butcher's wife, you, a great hero. Those brief moments we had together were the happiest of my life. I came here alone and bribed the guards to let me in, but I will not go back to that hideous beast called husband. I will stay in the forest and die. I brought a piece of sequoia branch from the tree under which you saved me from the wolf, where we met for the first time and were so happy. Wait for me, darling. I'm coming to you. We will see each other again soon. Always loving, Maria. Alright, well, uh, that explains the piece of wood I found in one of the coffins, which was the same one as the scroll case, but... Um, Can I burn it? Nope. But it doesn't appear to tell me anything else. It does not help with my current conundrum, right? Piece of sequoia wood. Wait, I'm coming to you. We'll see each other soon. Yeah, there's nothing nothing else special. 
So suddenly I thought maybe there was something to do, but there was nothing to do. But maybe I should have realized the scroll case could be frogged. I thought it was empty because it's just a scroll case, right? If there's a scroll, why not just have a scroll to pick up? What's the purpose of a case? I don't know. Can I crowbar these bloody things? Of course not, because I don't highlight, so you can't use anything on them. There's a lantern. I'd love a lantern. So it's probably out of fuel or something. I don't know. So what's what's the deal here? Is there maybe something else on the way up and down this rope? I can't easily look around because uh, I can't climb down unless I'm facing the, the near side. So it's like awkward pauses. I don't see anything else. All this looks like undifferentiated stone to me. And it does look like something underneath that, right? Or maybe it's just part of the hammer he was holding. Probably that's all it is. There's a bunch of gates that went open. And no sign of pressure plates. Careful of the whole guy. No sign of pressure plates this time to open them. We can look at the niche where the statue was, but there's nothing there. Here's a torch that I, that I can't light, that I don't know why. No, don't. Let's, let's attack the builder, shall we? Yeah, if you look at this guy, for reference, there is just the hammer on his that he's holding, right? That's what I'm seeing underneath this other statue, so it's fine. So what am I missing? Looks like another boulder in the roof, say, so poised to fall, but um, as long as it doesn't fall on my head, I'm fine. Maybe more roots coming through there. I can admire the grave forever. Let's put the holy water in here. Of course it doesn't work. Nice little hammer. Oh, hello. Nice little hammer in this niche. Okay, some more loot. Fine. This one fell, but doesn't have a gold hammer next to it. Let's just check them all out. Why not? We've got time to kill. Nothing down below seems to be happening, so maybe the secret we need is just very well hidden. That's just the way we came, isn't it? Yeah. We can join you in your tomb, oh mighty Borrowed Hunter. And uh, not find the lockpicks we need to steal your secret horn of Borrowed Taming. Ah. There is lots of hidden loot. 4431 already. 4431. This stuff is highly valuable. But in another meaning, you know, more significant sense, it's highly useless. It uh, doesn't help me get out of here. Let's save in case I insta die again. No, nope, lucky this time. From with these very tight holes, if you, if you, because you get physically, body body parts get physically teleported. Um, when you climb a rope, when you attach the rope, if it's a very tight hole, they can sometimes get physically teleported to, to be clipping into the solid, and that kills you. So ropes in, at the top of very small holes is not a good idea. There's another mission, I can't remember what it was, where I had such a situation, but it was with a rope arrow. I had to put it in and climb down a very small hole, and I was just... I don't know, I must have died like 12 times trying to make it work. Well, what if I smash you and get some oil out, huh? Right, spread oil all over the floor, set it alight, you know? No reason for it to make sense, but no reason for anything to make sense. I'm just trying to find something I can do. I long given up on 
sense. Any of these walls actually secrets, right? Let's let's explore the walls. Maybe one is a secret door. Maybe if it is, it will give me a you know it will suggest that I should be trying to find a way to open it. But none of them look like they are, so I think this is another waste of time. What is this pillar? Right? No. Aha. 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 Okay. Well, alright. So there is a secret door. Okay. I uh, did not want to have to discover it that way, really, because that's very. You know, engine exploit. There's no logic. No, no, you know, good game reason why. This does nothing when it's when it's actually just a terrain brush and why objects make a clang. It doesn't open when I put this out, does it? Is there anything stupid like that? Open silently? No. So let's not waste a wood arrow. What if I try and do one of these first? No, right, I just can't can't turn them off. Now this candle is a different shape and size, but uh, doesn't really suggest anything. Maybe one of these pillars is hiding a secret switch, hiding it extremely well. If these candles are making, uh, you know, deeper shadows, then I might even think that it was just a uh, hello. Ah, uh, all right. Well, that was not satisfying to find. Hunt the room for a tiny probable object. But I found it. What's going on in here? Well, lots of loot. Another uh, holy field that I guess I must have to dispel. Six thousand already. Oh, hang on, I see carrot. I see them stuck. All right. Just could climb over it because I thought I saw a hammer here. I did. Let us dispel the holy field. Alright, necklace. Two daggers. A big helmet. Or is that all? Is that it, man? You got it's lockpicks I need or something. Okay. I see nothing else in there, hang on. I definitely see nothing else in there and I'm kind of stuck in them. Being very disrespectful to your bones right now, but I guess not really any more so than. Oh, nice roof you got there. Not really any more disrespectful than when I'm stealing all your burial goods, you know. Okay, so I found your tomb, but, um. It's a. Dead end. Ha ha. Uh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, a dead end. Okay, so it's trapped. Aiming to kill me, kill me on exit. Okay, well, I got out alive this time. I was not expecting that, but uh, stuff is happening. Ah, oh. the dead have risen. Well, now I regret lighting all those torches, don't I? Ah. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so what's my plan here? I don't really have the means to fight them well. No, I guess I just uh, use my sword and hope for the best. Ouch. I don't have much healing, so... This is not going to go too well. This is not working. Yeah, they're not even going down. I'm going down, but they're not going down. Alright. I need a better plan than that. Alright, let's hide. This music's uh, rather overly dramatic. Kind of takes attention away. Alright, so where did they come from? It looks like that passage there is open now. The one on the right. So I guess I can just... Oh, well hey, I was going to say, I guess I can just make a run for it, but now look. There's more of these guys here. Well, he's giving up. For now. Dang it, this thing is just... Ah, I'm stuck. I can't actually walk forward over this bloody hammer here, so... That was the only patch of darkness I could find. Maybe that corner would have been better. Alright, let's not wait. Well, actually, I'm actually fully stuck. No, I'm not. Oh, they broke that down. God, wait. What? What is this place? Chapel. Of course, there's the one that said church. God, it's all lit up. You can't see me again, yeah? No. Well, uh, alright, now we have Undead to fight, and uh, I don't think my one vial of holy water is going to be any good. I don't think I need this papyrus anymore. Well, they're dropping it there, it's going to... Don't come here, mate. Just forget you saw me. Just go back to your thing, I want to explore these tombs in peace. Really? Really? <laughs> okay, so he gave up just then. Can I backstab him? Can I knock him down? There's another one coming. I think I'll probably just get up again when I get near. What's this going got in his hand? Some silver. Huh, he's just like grabbed on grabbed onto that and I guess rigor mortis is keeping it in his hand. Oh man, give up, give up, and go back. I didn't come here to fight zombies, I came here to steal loot. You should understand the difference. Alright, so he gave up too. I'll let him go back to his patrol, so... Let's see what's in these tombs here. Quite got it. Priest Lorian. So that guy doesn't have a plaque. 
or apparently anything probable. Oh, there is a hammer there. That's a very awkward angle to frog. Don't mind me climbing in your tomb here. I don't mean much disrespect. I was going to say I don't mean any disrespect, but you know, I kind of intrinsically do. Hello, what's that down the back? Uh, stuck. What? Urns, Duncan Place. What? Urns, Duncan Place. It's a piece of paper. Alright. Uh, or a scrap of paper with some... <laughs> some text on it that I can't quite fully read yet. I guess maybe there's more. Oh, he's just standing there. Alright. Well, hopefully he won't be too bothered by me. Continuing my explorations. At least when there's only like one or two zombies, it's uh, relatively easy just to let them kill my carrot. Yeah, this is just too low. Can't, I can't stand on the edge. I can't mantle except right in the middle. Priest Homic. I definitely have to look around all the edges because I've seen already in about 20 different instances of this author hiding things around the edges of tombs, right? It is very well precedented. <laughs> Priest William. But I can't help but make lots of noise as I'm trying to mantle in and it sometimes it's just a fail jump. <laughs> or even getting off them. Yeah, he's just going to wake up again, isn't he? I mean, if he wants to just lie there moaning, I'm not going to complain, but if he stands up, it will be a problem. Do you just want to lie there moaning? Maybe you just want to lie there moaning. Well, we attracted the attention of the standing one, I think. Or not. Maybe. Oh, I just kind of come back to standing. As I try again awkwardly to mantle these things. Priest Julian. And now he stood up. Okay. Stay in the dark. Here we go. Don't see anything else down the back there. Well, Priest Julian's is a hiding place, I suppose. I could just, just live out my life here, you know, quite happily. No, you didn't see me. I mean, you did see me, but... Uh... Can I set them alight? You know, it was a funny thought. But... It would be fantastic if you could just sit in the light. Burn them like Half-Life 2 zombies. Just calm down and go back to what you're doing, right? Oh, I can just take their gold from him. Who was here? Priest William, did I did I loot Priest William already? I think I did. Oh. Not entirely. Well he's lost me again. These zombies are not very smart. That's the That's the good piece of all this. But it's still kind of annoying to try to search the place. One of them, fine. One of them I could deal with. Two of them probably. Three of them is just like them in all directions. They do walk fast when they're fully alerted. 
Which is when they become a problem. At least I didn't actually have to have him unalert to steal his gold. His ring, I just took it. 11,000 already. Wow, these, these undead are like richer than most, most wealthy nobles. Right, I can't crouch on this edge. And he saw me, all right. I can only get the hammer. Come on, here, here, I'm here. Come on, come on, all the way up here. I just want you out of the way for a bit, all right? All right, you stay there. Goodbye. Yeah, you go searching around there. I'm sure you'll find someone around there. Anything on the pews? Coin here and there. Where's that zombie walking around? Priest's Ashes, okay. Hmm, maybe I should finish searching this area before looking for the Priest's Ashes. The Priest's Stashes, now that would I'd be interested in. Alright, I guess I've just got to... I picked up something else there that was not... not loot. Oh shit. There's two of them standing by the altar. Alright, let's find a patch of peace and quiet, shall we? What was it I picked up? Another scroll case. Alright, here's the which papyrus is this? My one and only three life. Right, I don't need that. Who was the priest with the thing? Lorian. Yeah, priest Lorian had the paper. Let's just put this here to market. Let's open this other scroll case so I don't confuse them. We have sealed High Priest Sibian's crypt. There were strange activities recently near his chamber. It started with candles. They flickered and went out for no reason. Then from time to time, whispers or piercing moans were heard. Finally, one of the freshly embalmed priest's bodies got up and killed one of the guards here. We had to take action, so the High Priest Sibian's crypt was locked in by a secret wall and his sarcophagus sealed by holy magic. Only holy water can remove the spell. I decided to seek information about High Priest Sibian. The records are very vague. He was buried here a long time ago. During the expedition to inspect this newly built tomb, he died in unexplained circumstances in the dark forest. Apparently his body was found surrounded by a group of zombies who were previously his guards. Also some strange marks were found at the scene. It's a really mysterious story and strangely similar to what is beginning to happen here. So wait, was High Priest Sibian then the tomb we found with the golden top that I used the holy water on? So, um, this is kind of telling me what happened. Yeah, the candles went out for no reason. All right, well, let's leave that here too. I don't think it's telling me anything actual useful information. So while those guys are there, come on, forget you never saw me. I need to check what's up here. They're in a magic spell circle. Which you think might mean something. Hello? You two, I'm over here. Yeah, here I am. Yeah, hello. Look, here I am. Yeah, look, come and get me, come and eat me, come and eat me. Yeah, you want a thief for breakfast? Bet if you if you stop where you are now and start searching, you might find one. Yeah, look, there's a thief near you. You can find him. Come on, no, no, no behind you. Oh, 
I just want to lose you for a bit. Don't get, don't get stuck, alright. Come on, go there. Just leave me alone for a bit, I'm just trying to distract you, alright? Oh dear. So you saw me again, huh? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, gonna lead you back over here again. Long way away, come on. Here, here. Look how brightly lit I am. Like a Christmas tree. Your favorite kind of tree. All right, now you stay there. I'm gonna just leave you in the dust. Try and stay out of the light so he loses me sooner. And let's explore what we can see down here. Well, there's a torch. I'm not gonna light it up, you know? That would be kind of foolish right now. Ashes of Priest Duncan. Do we need the ashes? Well, it's just an urn, I suppose. Right, so our zombie friend seems to have actually come down here, but he'll probably give up. Ashes of Priest Dono. I can make it stand on that. It's odd. Uh, is that not... It's a tiny statue, but it's not valuable. Okay, fine. I guess not every statue is valuable. Right, zombie man's forgotten about us. Hmm. I mean, I could like this. And just not stand near it. I mean, it's fine. Doesn't help me though. Priestly ashes, okay. There was that big rock. Hello, take that. I don't want to light this one because it'll show me, make me visible here, but I can light this one. See if I missed anything in this area. There was that big rock, right? Which uh, I could hear baroque sounds behind. And we know there's supposed to be barracks around. And honestly, if I could let the zombies and barracks fight, that would actually be pretty cool. But I don't know how to deal with that rock. My crowbar did nothing, no feedback whatsoever. Not even a Garrett straining his arm sound. Probing it without the crowbar also did nothing. But uh, I think this is a pretty decent place to end the episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me soon for the next one.